Hello, and welcome back to another Digital Adventures Let's Build. It's me, Jim. Uh, today we're going to be creating an Among Us minigame called Clear Asteroid. In this minigame, uh, you have to destroy some asteroids that are flying across the screen. Uh, and in the game, you just click on the asteroids and then they go away. You gotta get 20 of them. It's not too, uh, too complicated, but there are some cool features that I'd like to add in um, to our game. So if we take a look, I've already created some of the drawings, uh, or the sprites. Uh, first I have one that is a, an aim, an aimer, just something that's going to follow our mouse pointer around when we click on the asteroids. I have an empty sprite here, uh, the costume's just blank, it is going to be the pen, and this is how I'm going to draw um, some of these like sights that point towards the aimer, and that are like, they're like lasers I guess. And then we have uh, an asteroid, and one special thing I've done is I've created three different costumes for this asteroid, so that way I can uh, have three different types of asteroids that all act pretty much the same. Uh, moving on, we have a couple lasers that are going to shoot out of um, our point of view towards the aim. Alright, so we're going to start just getting this aimer to follow our mouse pointer around, and that's pretty simple. It's all you need is a when green flag clicked from events and then we need to, we're gonna always, I believe we're going to always um, follow the mouse pointer and the way you can say always in Scratch is something called forever and anything inside of this will happen all the time so where is, not point to mouse pointer, where is go to mouse pointer okay, wow, step one complete <laughs> not bad, not bad. Okay, so in the game there are these uh, these little uh, lasers that follow as well, and there's two of them. But in Scratch you can't really. So we're gonna use this pen tool. In Scratch you can't draw like two things at once. It's with the pen. It's kind of weird. Um, but you'll see how we're gonna solve that problem in a second. So I have the pen options here, you're going to need to get those by coming down to the extensions at the bottom left and clicking on pen and it'll add these pen blocks into your code. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do for pen is one green flag clicked, of course. And I want it to just always draw a line from these bottom corners to the aimer. Um, first, let's go and grab the uh, pen tools here. We're gonna say uh, set the pen color to like green. I'll try and pick the same color green as that. And then we're going to get uh, something to make the size a little bigger because it starts off as like a pretty small thickness. The size is like how thick the pen will be. Um, nothing's happened yet, uh, but we will get one of these forever blocks. Let me zoom in a bit. We have a forever block and we want to always draw lines from the corners to the middle. It's kind of weird, it, it doesn't work exactly how you would think, but to start off I like to erase all because we need to redraw the line every single time, every moment of the game because as this moves we have to draw a new line, uh, kind of refreshing the laser. Next we need to go to one of the corners go to, no, that's wrong, go to X and Y, and I know the bottom left corner is minus 240, and the Y is minus 180, that will be for every scratch game, so far. <laughs> so, so far the pen just sits here, it hasn't done anything. Now we're going to make the pen go to the paper, or like the backdrop, I guess, by using pen down, and now we want to go to the middle of this aimer, and the way we do that is we tell the, the this pen sprite to just go to, instantly go to <laughs> random position. It's just like a laser light show. Uh, but we're gonna do go to aim. <laughs> so there you go. So as you can see, sometimes there's like two on the screen. It's kind of delayed, it's okay. Uh, that's about as good as you can get there. Um, so it goes to the aim. And then after it goes to aim, we need to go back down to the bottom right. So right now it's going the bottom left to the middle 
and then now it needs to travel to the bottom right. And it's going to happen pretty much instantly. Um, and you'll see the pen, the pen draws all this all at once, all these code blocks, and then it will um, refresh. Uh, minus 180. There we go. And we have one problem. So it goes here to the dot, to the bottom right, and then draws a line across the bottom. To prevent that line, I can go to pen and I can say uh, pen up. And I'll tell the pen to not draw. And then once it gets to the, or it'll tell it to stop drawing, it erases all the markings and then it redraws it starting at the bottom left again. And the pen goes down. So this way it will avoid drawing that line in between. That's how you can kind of get two drawings at once um, with the pen tool, like you can't have multiple pens going. So you just have one pen do every drawing <laughs> and then you refresh. All right, so there, there we go. That's pretty good so far. Um, the next thing we're gonna work on is the asteroid. Um, so asteroids, there's gonna be 20 of them. And I don't need wanna just right click and duplicate this a bunch of times, like that would be unnecessary. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use clones. I love using clones. They make life a lot easier. So of course we start off with a one green flag click, but we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna tell this asteroid, it's already hidden, but uh, I'm gonna tell this asteroid here to hide. And looks, what, oops, there we go. I'm gonna stop that so I don't <laughs> keep messing it up. And we're gonna hide that asteroid right away because that asteroid is like the original and he, we don't want that one to um, get in the way of all the clones. The clones are going to do all the work, the original is just there to get copied. Um, and so to do a copy we can use repeat 20, so I want 20 asteroids. Repeat 20, we're going to wait a little bit in between each one so they don't all appear at once. So waiting 0.3 seconds and then we're going to create clone of myself and this will create all the clones. Now if I press the green flag it, it it's running the code, but unfortunately, all of the asteroids are, um, they're hidden still. All of the clones are hidden as well. So how do we make a clone not hidden? We can go ahead and grab a when I start as clone. This is like whenever a clone gets just created out of thin air, it's gonna start running the code underneath here. We'll do a show and I'll press the green flag and you'll notice that all of the clones are in one spot. It looks like there's only one, but they're all just in one spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure it goes behind the laser with a couple code blocks here. We're gonna go to go to back and then we want to put them in random spots along the right side. So we can do go to XY and then I'll need random pick random minus 182 180 for the x that's wrong that should be in the y x will be uh hmm, 240 that's on the right side of the screen and you'll notice all of them will start on the right side randomly between minus 180 here and 180 up there amazing they're all the exact same asteroid though. To make them random asteroid uh, costumes, you can say switch to costume. And we can actually use pick random one to three. I think there's three costumes, so let's see. Uh, that may have worked. Yeah, that works. There's three different ones one, two, and three. So that's kind of a fun way to do uh, make your games a little more interesting is have random costumes. Um, next is pointing these all in different directions so they fly around. They need to move from one side and kind of like spread out and go to the left. That's going to be a point in direction. Uh, point in direction and they all are going to move randomly. So, but I, I want them, so if you look at here, this, I want them to only go left so my range is going to be between like minus 45 and about 145 maybe 135 and that'll make sure they always move a little bit left 
minus 135 to minus 45. You could do either number first. So now they're pointing in different directions, but they're not moving. You can't click them. Nothing like that. So let's get them moving. Uh, so we need a forever loop. So this is going to be the loop that will uh, control what the asteroid does after it's created. So after it gets created, it does these steps or these code blocks once and then it just does this forever loop forever. It'll just run this code, which will be movement and interacting with the mouse um, and possibly uh, resetting back to the beginning. So we need movement. Let's do move five steps. Move five steps will move them in whatever direction they're facing. So this is gonna look better. Look at that. I wish I could clear these, but I cannot. <laughs> Let's now, um, fix one problem, which is when they fly off to the left here, they're just going to get stuck forever. And on the bottom too. So we're going to make it so when they reach the edge here, they just full teleport back to the beginning. Just like it is in the uh, Among Us Clear Asteroids game. So we need to say if, that's the keyword there, is if they reach the left side. And the left side we use a uh, less than block because if the asteroid's x position is less than whatever's over here, which is like negative 230 or so, we're gonna teleport it back, just like the uh, just like the game in Among Us. Okay. Let's get that going. So if x position, this little block will refer to the x position. Right now it's 213, but as it moves that number changes. It's less than minus uh, let's do 230. 240 is the edge, but your sprites don't really always reach the edge because they could be uh, wide. Um, it's kind of like a weird scratch uh, nuance. So once it reaches the left edge, we're just going to teleport it to the right edge by saying set x to 240. And then we want to repoint their direction randomly. So I'm going <laughs> to, I pulled this off so I could duplicate this bottom one place it down here. You can also grab these blocks over here as well, um, but that will reset their their uh, orientation. All right, so now you can see that there's about 20 of them, I'm sure, and once they reach one edge, they should teleport back. So that one probably <laughs> teleported somewhere. This one should teleport right over here. Yeah, okay, great. So they'll keep flying. Um, so now uh, let's work on our lasers next. So as we click on the asteroids, we want lasers to shoot out of these corners down here and then meet in the middle. So each one of these sprites will have a little bit of code. Um, so I'm going to run through this. We're going to get a one green flag clicked, of course. The lasers, we're going to make lots of them, so I'm going to use clones. You don't have to use clones, I guess, um, but I like to use them so that way we can have tons of lasers on the screen. But of course we need to hide it originally. Forever. And then if we press our mouse pointer down, so mouse down, then we need to create a clone of myself, which will create a clone of the uh, laser one. And then when the clone gets created, we're just going to show it and then send it up. So then we go to motion, go to X. Um, so it's starting spot will actually be this number, th these numbers, the X and Y. And then we need to make it point towards the mouse pointer. Um, and then we glide it. We're gonna do a glide. Glides are an easy way to move something across the screen. Glide one second to the mouse pointer. We're gonna make that a little faster, 0 0.1. And then just to make sure it sticks around a little bit so that we can hit asteroids, we're gonna wait 0 0.1 second and then delete the clone. Um, so that way when it launches out, it'll have a little more time to stick around. As you can see, <laughs> I, uh, I missed one thing, I'm kind of shooting rapid fire. So I need to make sure I can't hold it down. And the way you do that is with a wait until. 
So we're gonna make the program wait here until we are not holding the mouse down. So that means, so that basically means um, if we press the mouse down, it creates a clone and then it will not create another clone until you are not pressing mouse and then you're allowed to press mouse again. It's a pretty nice way to create uh, a limit on how many <laughs> of these, ash of these uh, lasers you can make. Okay, so that laser's done. And now I want this exact same code into this laser, but with a slight change. I can do that by dragging them in. You'll see them kind of shake a little bit. The sprites uh, thumbnails shake a little bit when you hover over them with another code block, so you know you can drop it in. Usually, let's see. Well, oh, yeah, like that. You can kind of see it. Okay, back on task. We're going. We're back. Uh, let's go ahead and change this. So instead of 240, you'll do minus 240, and I think that's all you need. Now we got the two, and they come together, and they do not destroy asteroids yet, which is the last step. So back into my asteroid code. Final step is telling the asteroid to go away if it is touching both of the lasers. Because that's where they kind of meet to hit the asteroid. So that's going to be down in this forever loop because we always want to be checking to see if it's being hit by lasers. And we'll need an AND block because it needs to be touching two things. If it's touching blank and touching blank. Uh, let's make this smaller. If touching the laser one and touching laser two, easy enough we delete the clone so that it will the asteroid will disappear. So let's run a test here. Let's check it out. All right, see how I do. All right, it's working. And if I miss, it doesn't do anything. So there you go. This is uh, the clear asteroid task from Among Us. Some of these are really hidden up there. I got them all. Uh, that's the let's build for today. Um, hope you enjoyed that. You can go ahead and try this out. You can go on Scratch. Um, at the link below and remix it. Try to add a score, that would be cool. If you've been enjoying these Let's Build videos, you can go ahead and uh, like and subscribe, of course, but you can also head to digitaladventures.com and check out some of our online classes. Uh, you could definitely learn a whole lot about making video games, computer science, coding, pretty much anything with technology. Thanks again, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.